So guys, it's Declan here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys one of the best card duplication glitches that is currently out after patch 1.12. Now this method is very similar to the one I posted the other day, but you do not need a tank to do this, and there is less steps as well, so if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Once again, can we try and shoot for something well over 500 likes guys, that would be amazing. And with that said, let's begin. So guys, starting this off, the first thing you will need to do is you will need to be in an online session and you also need a friend in the game. Now if you don't have a friend in the game, go ahead and post your gamer tags down below and help each other out with this. Nevertheless, to start this off, you need a big vehicle. So in order to get a big vehicle really quickly, you want to bring up your phone, then go to travel and transport, then go down to Warstack Cash and Carry and purchase the journey. It only costs around 15 grand, and as soon as you purchase it, you can go ahead and call up Pegasus and request the vehicle to be delivered to a certain location. Now, once again, guys, you only need a big vehicle to do this, and the journey is one of the easiest vehicles to get a hold of that is big enough for this. So just go ahead and purchase the journey, and once you call it from Pegasus, it will spawn at a certain location. So once it has spawned, simply drive over to that location and then get into the journey and then take it over to your garage. Now from there, what you want to do is have your friend park the journey flat against the garage door as you guys are going to see now. And as you can see, I Crazy Teddy is actually having a little bit of a hard time with this. He's only taking his first baby steps when it comes to driving. I'm slowly teaching him here and there. Anyway, once your friend has finished parking the journey flat against the garage door, tell him to get inside of your personal vehicle. Now this does have to be your personal vehicle, guys. And then drive inside of your garage with your friend in the passenger seat. Now from there, it will teleport you inside of your garage as there is a huge journey block in the way which is going to cut the animation screen. Nevertheless, once you do spawn inside of your garage, get into any vehicle that you want to duplicate. So as you can see, me and iCrazyTeddy are going to be duplicating this entity, so we're both going to be getting inside of this entity. Once again guys, if you want to check out iCrazyTeddy, a link to his channel will be in the description below, make sure you guys check him out. Anyway, once you're both inside the vehicle you want to duplicate, simply drive outside of your garage and then it should teleport you down the road a little bit. Now from there you want to simply drive around for roughly 30 seconds and once you're finished driving around, simply get outside of your vehicle and you should see a message pop up that says your personal vehicle has been destroyed. By the way guys, this does work at any garage, but as you guys are going to see now, you get the message that says your personal vehicle has been destroyed. At this point you have successfully done the glitch, all you want to do is simply ring up Moore's Mutual Insurance and then make a claim on the vehicle that has been destroyed. So as you can see, there is now an entity in Moore's Mutual Insurance and from there you have successfully done the glitch, there is an entity right next to you. What you want to do is have your friend drive you over to Moore's Mutual Insurance to pick up the duplicated vehicle. So, once you guys have made it over to Moore's Mutual Insurance, as you can see, there is the duplicated entity or whatever vehicle you was duplicating will be there. And all you want to do is simply get out of the original car and then get into the duplicated version. And then what you want to do is have you and your friend both drive the original and the duplicated version back to your garage as quick as you can. And then from there you can simply store both vehicles in your garage nice and firm. This is by far the best car duplication glitch that is currently out at the moment. And guys, I want to give you a little bit of a disclaimer. You can sell the vehicle. As far as I know, you can sell it, but I would suggest not doing so as you may get banned. Nevertheless, once you both have made it back over to your garage, you want to drive the entity that you was in straight into your garage and it should store into your garage no problem. Now guys, you do need to have a full garage to store the second one in, otherwise this will not work. That is the only real downside to this. And once again, you can sell the vehicle as far as I know. Do not do it on my behalf though as you may get banned. Nevertheless, once you have stored the first entity in your garage, simply walk straight back outside and then get into the other entity and then drive that back into your garage as well. And that is pretty much the glitch done guys, as soon as you drive it back in, you will get prompted to replace a vehicle as you do need to have a full garage to store the second vehicle. And as you can see, just simply replace any vehicle that you don't want. And then you have successfully done the glitch. You now have two vehicles inside of your garage. You have now successfully duplicated the vehicle. And once again, guys, if you do decide to sell the vehicle, if you can, then be warned, you may get banned, but you may not as well. Just be aware, and that is pretty much it for the video guys, I hope you did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button down below if you did, once again can we try and shoot for something well over 500 likes guys, that would be amazing. Also if you want to go ahead and follow us on Twitter, you can do that at 2DynamicHD, we will always keep you up to date on glitches like this and if you do have any problems, you can contact us on there or drop a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. And with that said, I will see you all in the next video.